Okay guys, so I decided to make a video on my Land Cruiser, it's a FK62 12 volts. I replaced the uh, headlights with the uh, Holly headlights, the LED headlights, kind of like that style. It still looks like a, you know, like a very correct headlight, but it's LEDs. So I'm gonna show you the way I did it. Doesn't mean that's the way it's supposed to be done or nothing like that, it's just the way I did it. Uh, and I decided to make a video because a lot of people have been asking about it. So I'm gonna go and show you real quick uh, what I did. So first, I'm gonna put on the headlights on, low beam. And I'm gonna show you here, I got a Power Pro. So when they're on low beam, so this connector here has only two cables okay so when the load it's on i get power 12 volts see to that one and then this one doesn't have nothing right now okay when i get the high beams on right there we're gonna have ground on that second gear. So still 12 here, but now I got ground here. Okay? So, so what did I do? I got a connector to fit in there. Okay, you see I got two cables there for my two signals. Okay, I'm gonna plug it back in. Okay, so it's back uh, plugged in. So it goes down that 12 volts because now the headlights are on low beam, all four of them. Um, the 12 volts that was showing up here, which is still there, nothing here. 12 volts there. So when that 12 volts turns on, that signal goes to one of these two relays. one down here and there's the second one here okay i can't remember which one is what but it doesn't really matter so the 12 volt signal goes to that relay and then from the other side goes to a ground okay and which i got right here the ground okay so when that happens that relay activates okay and i got 12 volts coming to the relay straight from the battery okay you see I got high beam and low beam. I got fuses, one there and another one somewhere over there. So you got 12 volts straight to that relay, okay? From the battery and then the other side goes to the headlights, okay? Here I bought on Amazon these connectors. Uh, it's like a, a T connector. Because you plug one in and it has two outlets, so I can plug it to the uh, the headlights, okay? And before, even before this connector is somewhere down there, what I did is I split the signal, so I got a cable going all the way through here, right there, okay? All the way down here, it comes right here, okay? So same thing, I bought an RT, so I can hook up to my two headlights, okay? So when the signal on that relay shuts out and I got 12, 12 gauge wire, you can see pretty thick wire, so I have no current issues. So when the relay activates because of the 12 volts from the car, it sends power straight from the battery to my two headlights here and to my two headlights over here. Okay, I kind of pull all this out so you guys can see what I'm doing. So, but you see, I got three wires here, right? So I got an on ground connected right there, okay, for these two headlights. So one of these cables is a ground, one of these cables is the 12 volt signal from over there, okay, from the factory connector. Now, when I turn on the high beams, as you can see, you, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you the reflection over there. Yeah, I 
can see it's your price can too. So I'm gonna leave it on high now. So when that happens, now I get a ground here. Oh, wrong one. Right here. So I got my ground there. Okay, so my relay now, this one is still on. And the second one, it's a ground. And it does exactly the same thing. It connects. The, the signal ground comes here and then from here, from the relay goes to the positive. Okay, so, so activates a relay and then the system is exactly the same. I got another power lead coming with a fuse, coming down to the relay from the relay splits one side goes to that side the other side comes here then i got the t connector or the split and then connects to both of my headlights okay super simple so one of these is my high one of this one is my low beam and the other one is ground not on that order i don't know the order to be honest with you right now uh but that's the way it is okay so i got three cables there like I said, I got one ground from here, the one ground, other ground from there, and then my signal comes from over there. So here I got, as you can see, I got my factory connector. It's off. And then I got the second connector over here, which I got off right now. Uh, and I'll show you in one second what I'm doing with that. So I'm gonna put all this back in here. Uh, let me take the, the high beams out. Okay, so. Now the tricky part, which I haven't completely figured out yet on this car, okay? Um, you got a relay, okay? And then you got a resistor, and then I'm gonna put the diagram uh, on there. But you basically connect it to the one that has the three cables. The connector has the three cables, I don't know if you can see it. Yep, right there, the three cables, okay? So you connect it there. And the diagram is it's all over the place so uh, you can follow it quickly yeah i got it okay so i got that plugged in i can i say i got the resistor here and i got a relay as well okay and it's coming out of this basically what it's not doing is is uh telling the dash that the high beam is on or off okay so i am said that i'm not done with this uh because I got my lights on. I don't know if you can see it, but I got my lights on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's barely visible. Okay. For some reason, sometimes when I take it out, like I'm, I got it right here on high beam, right? When I take it out of the high beam, it stays lit. And I got to kind of flash it back like that and it stays out. Uh, right now it's working, you know, but uh, usually the issue I've been having is when I take it out of the high beam, the light stays on and then I just got to flash it and it goes off. Not sure why I haven't really messed with it uh, lately, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's real simple. I like it because you're not gonna, uh, I guess, overpower the factory cables. They're really tiny cables uh, and really old. So I did everything has new wiring, as you can see. I, like I say, I got 12 go 12 gauge uh, power and ground, and everything's 12 gauge. So it's plenty of power for the headlight, so it's not gonna heat up or nothing. So uh, hopefully that helps. I'm gonna try to get the, the link. I got on Amazon, the split connectors, uh, and then the uh, the other connectors actually came with a headlight, uh, this, this other side. This other side right here. The headlight comes with a few of them, so you can use that. Okay, like I was saying, and then I, I got, uh, both of the relays right there on a bolt uh, and it's kind of simple I mean it's, it's nothing to it it's just a regular relay on one side and then a, re a reverse uh, 
relay on the other one because of you know the way the system works with the with the uh with the line cruisers so hopefully that helps like i said i'm going to try to get the links for it for the splits and the headlights uh and cable i mean you can find cable anywhere uh i'm going to try to put all that together see if uh that helps somebody if not let me know like i said nothing is from any kit or nothing like that everything is just basically uh off the shelf just a couple wires that you gotta run so if somebody has any questions uh something that might not be clear like i said the, the only kind of complicated part and uh it will be this right here with the resistor and the relay um I guess, guess, like I said, I'm not 100% confident on it yet. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work for me the way it's supposed to. Uh, like you guys saw in the video, it's working right now. Uh, sometimes it's just not working, so uh, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'm, I'm not too bothered by it. I just flicker uh, the, the high beams and, and it works, so it, it goes off. So there you go.